Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part 5 of our Understanding Appium video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about installing Appium in Windows for Android. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 4 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So Appium installation prerequisite. So before starting to install the actual Appium itself, we need to somehow need to have some prerequisite installation before installing the Appium. So the prerequisite softwares to be installed are Java, Android SDK, and these two are enough for Appium server installation, but Eclipse need to be installed to write the client code in Java, whereas Visual Studio Community Edition is required to write client code in C Sharp. So we are going to talk about installing the Appium server uh, in this video series. And also we are going to discuss about downloading the jar files required for installing in Eclipse and as well as and how to create the Appium project in Visual Studio as well. Right. So you can learn installing Java and Android SDK from Android Automation with Robotium video playlist from Execute Automation channel itself, which is available in part four like installing Android SDK and getting ready for app development series, right? So Appium installation in Windows is pretty straightforward since the EXE will just all the magic for you, like installing Node.js, uh, which is the one Appium server is built with, and installing Appium server, etc. So let's see how things works installing the Appium server. So for that, I'm gonna to flip to Chrome and go to appium.io so here you can see there's a something called download appium button so if you hit this it will start to download the latest version of appium which is specific to the platform so if you download the same from uh, ios operating system then it will download the dmg file for you and since i'm downloading it from windows the website is automatically recognized my operating system version and it downloads the exe version for me so I have already downloaded that in my computer so I'm just going to hit cancel and let's go to the download folder and see how the exe file looks like so this is the Appium installer which I have downloaded it's in zip files I just unzip the file and if you double click this it will open up a setup wizard for me and this setup wizard is pretty straightforward and it will ask you where to install the Appium you can just select next and hit next again and if you hit next it will start to install the Appium but I have already installed the Appium in my machine so I don't have to worry about that so that's it this simple is Appium server installation in your machine and this will bring you up the Appium server right that's it Appium client required jar files. So once the Appium server is ready, we need to write the code in Appium using Eclipse. So as we will be writing the client codes in Java for Appium and Eclipse, we need following jar files to be downloaded as well. Like Selenium server and client API from this website, which we already know. And similarly, Appium Java client. So you can Google it and you can find the jar file. Similarly, the JSON. So the JSON is a Java library that can be used to convert Java object into their JSON representation. It can also be used to convert a JSON string to an equivalent Java object. So this library is what doing all the conversion of your Java code into JSON representations, which is understood by your Appium server. Remember in part three, we were discussing how your Appium client code is converted to JSON request for Appium server, right? Great, so let's see this in action. So I'm going to flip to Chrome right now and we need to download the JSON jar file which you can just download from the link right here. So you can download it from here, from the May one as well. Similarly, you can download the Appium Java client from this link right here. 
right? You can download the source as well if you want to. So once these jar files are downloaded, then the last thing that we need to do is to attach the jar files to the Eclipse and then you can start writing your code. That's it. So it's just three jar files that we require. The first thing is the Selenium server and the client jar files and then Appium Java client jar file and the JSON jar file. That's it. So once these three jar files are there, we're all good to go with the client coding for Appium, right? But for Visual Studio, we don't have to worry about that. Since the Appium reference for the client is very simple in Visual Studio with the help of NuGet package manager. You can just right click the references, hit the manage NuGet package reference and then search for Appium and you can see that this window will pop up and it will install all the dependencies DLL files for you in a project and you are good to go in writing the code in just a few seconds. Right? So Appium client required DLL installation is very simple in Visual Studio than compared to your Java Eclipse installation at least. Right, so that's it guys. This is how you can install your Appium server, Appium client libraries for Java, and Appium client libraries for Visual Studio C Sharp. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.